for the final, which is great. Any shoe, just so you know the scoring system, any shoe that can break into the... Good morning, here we go, or good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you're watching around the world. Thanks for tuning in here in the studio. I think, ever. what do you think? I think we need a sign back. I'm almost thinking like a green or maybe blue, neon, right here. Studio. Shoot, I don't know, does anybody make neon signs out there? It's like, I've heard it's really, really difficult to make a neon sign. If you know anybody, email me. I want a, I want a studio sign right there, just so all the new subscribers, welcome by the way, know uh, what we call my shed, aka, aka the studio. Here's the deal, Skechers, go run, Razor Plus, right now, 50 mile full review, there it is on the shelf, but, Doing my best. I don't know if it's gonna be noon or if it's gonna be 5 p.m. We'll see. Double published today for the, and I already alerted the Studio Super fans, uh, the Hoka Bondi 7 is also gonna publish today, 50 mile full review. There it is right there. So if you're looking for a long run slash, I'm gonna say easy, sh easy day shoe, uh, we will be discussing this shoe later on today as well. Question of the day. What are your running plans for the weekend? Usually I save it for the end of the vlog, decided to stick it in here at the beginning. What are your running plans? Are you doing a race, you know? Uh, maybe it's a spaced out race. Maybe it's uh, a long, you know, a big long run. Maybe it's a workout. Maybe it's a mountain adventure. Let us know, inspire us down in the comments. That's the question of the day. Okay, here we go. Let's dive in for a millimeter drop for the Go Run Razor Plus. We're looking at 28 millimeters in the heel four millimeters in the, or 24 millimeters in the forefoot. Let, oh, the twist test, major twist test. I mean, we're talking loosey-goosey, dancing around like you wouldn't believe. Very, very loose uh, through the midsole. And it is, I should have mentioned, it is a neutral road running shoe right from the get-go. Now, as far as the weight, and it's gonna get a very good score for me, okay, I'm gonna put it on the scale just to confirm. I'm having a little trouble fi finding reliable numbers for women's size eight, men's size nine, but in my size, just so you know, 6.6 .6 ounces or 188 grams. Any shoe under seven ounces in my size is a very, very good weight, uh, depending on what you're using the shoe for, which we'll get to, uh, get to here in one second. And onto that upper, it's a seamless uh, knit upper, which has lost the overlays from, here it is, the Razor 3, okay? And here's, a, here's an interesting fact though, just so you're aware, I'm actually, I'll try and find the Razor 3. If I find it, I'll post it down in the, in the description. Uh, it's actually gained a little bit of weight, so let's put it on the scale. The Razor 3 here, I believe it's, yeah, 5.8 versus 6.6. .6. So this guy's a little heavier, just so you know, uh, but the overlays are gone from this Razor Plus, and I think it's a great step in the right direction just to make the upper a little more, uh, it just lays on top of your foot uh, better. Not, It doesn't have as many crinkles. You see how it's crinkling up here in the Razor, Razor 3, uh, scrunching up, I should say, especially here through the, through the toe box. I do not like that. Those uh, wrinkles in the upper can create hot spots, you know, depending on your foot and depending on the socks that you're wearing, and you don't want to deal with that, especially for long runs, uh, any sort of rubbing or, you know, potentially blisters happening uh, because of that scrunching up through the upper. So lockdown, absolutely amazing. Love the lockdown. It's not gusseted though. I don't know, Skechers throwing it out there, maybe a gusseted tongue in the future for the Razor lineup. Nah, just an idea, but overall lockdown was spot on. That heel counter is not incredibly stout, but it's got a little bit of rigidity to it. I would say it's kind of straight down the middle of the road, not completely loosey-goosey, like, uh, like a nut, no, not that one. Well, not completely loose, but uh, not uh, completely stout either. Definitely not an Asics heel counter. For that midsole, it's the Hyperburst midsole foam, which uh, Skechers has trademarked this technology where they infuse, if that's the right word to use, infuse little tiny bubbles in the production process of the midsole foam with nitrogen, using nitrogen and CO2 
uh, to create these little teeny tiny cell structures that I'm going to say, yes, improve the ride, improve the energy return. And I do believe make the overall, you know, like using, doing the durometer test, like it's got quite, in fact, after 50 miles, it has broken in quite a bit. Like it's, it's pretty easy for me to push my thumbs into that midsole, which will impact the durability uh, prediction here in a minute. Overall though, I'm very pleased with the ride of this midsole, keeping in mind you're in charge of the shoe. The shoe is not in charge of you. Your foot strike, you got, in fact, the last couple of days, uh, in the last two days of testing before the 50 miles, I was making a, I had to make a conscious decision of where I wanted my foot to strike and how I wanted my foot to strike on the ground. Meaning four foot striking, four foot striking, working on my cadence, working on my, uh, yeah, just my turnover through the gait cycle. So it was good, but you, I will say, um, you, you gotta, you, you can't daze off, uh, you can't be daydreaming too much in this shoe if you want your foot to be striking the ground well, especially if you have issues with overpronating, okay? If you do, this is not the shoe for you, again, because you'll just be rolling in too much. And I have a little bit of issue, especially on my right foot, the foot I had surgery on for my plantar fasciitis back in college. Um, so I've got to be conscious of my foot strike. I'm going on a rant now. Anyway, hope that makes sense for the Razor Plus. Outsole, overall, a good score for the bottom of the shoe. I think I actually, from the first review, first impression vlog to this full review, I think I dropped the score down just like a half a point or maybe a full point. I do think that they could streamline the rubber, the Goodyear, I love that, the Goodyear rubber on the bottom of the shoe. Overall though, um, decent score for the outsole. Nothing to write home about. Okay. <laughs> to get this shoe to 50 miles, I did need to run in it a little bit in the ice and snow this week here in Denver. I didn't fall, but I, you know, I never felt like incredibly confident going over the snow and ice. So it's definitely not a winter shoe per se. All right, just just letting you know right now. You know, this is a, a shoe for the warmer temperatures, 100%. For the fit and the comfort fit, I went true to size for the length and no issues. I'm just trying to remember lacing up. No issues with toe box or midfoot. Um, uh, maybe leaning slightly on the narrow side through the midfoot, ever so slightly, okay? So if you have a really wide midfoot, just keep that in mind, but really no major issues as far as the fit goes. For the comfort, pretty good solid, seven and a half for the comfort score, solid. I think I bumped it up maybe because I, I was more pleased uh, with the midsole ride than I expected uh, after the 50 miles. Positive and drawback, positive is the lockdown simplicity. It's not difficult, and this is, I believe, a carryover, for, again, from first impression. It was, it's, you don't have to overthink lacing it up. Sometimes you put on a shoe and you have to relace it two or three times to get that lockdown correct. Not the case in the Razor Plus. My drawback is, I guess, you know, it's, it, oh man, I, um, Man, oh boy, it's a tough one, but I guess I'll go with the fact that it is a little heavier than the Razor 3, even though that's a still, that's why the Razor 3 was a very popular shoe. Well, was it 2018? Uh, I think it might have been 2018. So um, we'll see what Skechers ends up doing with this shoe lineup, the Razor lineup moving forward with respect to the weight. Uh, for the durability prediction, I'm gonna lean in the direction of 400 miles. Uh, I do think, the, in fact, the outsole is looking pretty good after 50 miles. Really no major signs of wear and tear on the bottom of the shoe. So I'm gonna stick, I said three to 400 at the first impression. I'm gonna go in the direction of 400 miles. How will I use the shoe moving forward? 100% tempo days. Uh, daily trainer, yes, I'd lean in the direction of some other shoes. In fact, I was gonna save this for later, but I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. Here are some other shoes that I am putting into the same category as the Razor Plus, okay? So uh, the one that's jumping off at me, jumping, at, jumping out at me right now is the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. Love, love, love that shoe. Um, so definitely the Razor Plus. If you love the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, I think you'll enjoy the Razor Plus as well. And there's the prices for those shoes. There you go. Okay, moving on to who is it best for? Um, again, somebody that knows they can be in control of their foot strike, all right? So as they're striking the ground, they don't have to have any sort of uh, stability system built into the shoe. And who else, who else? Well, let's just do it. Price point, hmm, $135. So who is it best for? 
Uh, it's a decent score for the price. It's actually a pretty good score, only because the shoe can accomplish many, and I said this in the first impression, can accomplish many different tasks. Again, could it be a long run shoe? I would not take this to 22, 23 miles. I think your legs would get a little too beat up or even 20 miles. But if your long runs are in that, you know, 10 to 15 mile range, again, I think this will work for you. Um, and at the same time, crazy enough, oh man, yeah. Um, and I said this actually, I think if you wanna buy one shoe for 5K, 10K road racing, and then also uh, tempo days, and a daily trainer. Now it's gonna wear out fairly quick if you're using the shoe for all those different tasks. You know, you might have it for six to eight weeks depending on what your volume is, maybe three months at the most. Uh, but I do think this could work for a 5K, 10K road racing shoe. It's got that, it's in the right, it's, in a, it's a decent weight, and uh, yeah, it's got enough energy return through that hyperburst midsole. And there you have it, the Skechers Go Run Razor Plus, and let me just pull off, let me, I've just, I'm always trying to remember the weight. There's so many shoes, so many different weight classes. All right, Brooks Hyperion Tempo, wow, they're identical, 6.6. .6. I thought so, that is why I enjoyed both of the, oh man, I, I think I put this shoe in a top three category recently in the live stream. Um, so anyway, Skechers Go Run Razor Plus. There's, so from the first impression vlog, I believe we were at 7.9 out of 10 for my early score. Final score got bumped up a point one to eight out of 10. So it did break into the eights for the final, which is great. Any shoe, just so you know the scoring system, any shoe that can break into the eights is a shoe that I, I not love, but I really think is a solid choice for the price point, for the task that it can accomplish in your training schedule. Um, and that is definitely the case with both of these. Okay, everyone, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Already asked a question of the day. Again, goal is to publish vlog number two either at noon today or 5 p.m. my time. Just stay tuned for that. Have a great weekend if we don't chat uh, somewhere on social media or over on Strava and onward and upward, all right? Oh, so good, so good. Okay, and again, remember, Shootio. Who owns a, um, who owns a, uh, what's it even, uh, Neon, Neon Sign Company. Boom, right there, right there. All right, everyone, tossing it to, we'll toss it to, you know, we might toss it to the Razor 3 way back or I might even do the Brooks Hyperion tempo okay either one of those will be right there right there all right thanks for being here seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow